look at it again. That's not what we want in a tint. That's not really tinting anything, or rather, that's not tweening from one color to another color. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy, and in this video, we're going to look at tweening from one color to another color in Phaser 3. So you may have tinted your objects before to set a color on your object, and you may have tried to then uh, tween that tint to go from one color to another, but it doesn't quite work. Let me show you what that would actually look like if you tried to tween a tint. So we've got this gem here. It's just a generic gem. The code is very simple. We're adding this sprite, which is just this uh, gem asset that we've got loaded. So let's just see what happens when we try to tween a um, sprite, uh, the tint of a sprite, without doing anything special. So I believe it is gem tint. So we have, so let's tint this guy, set tint, let's just give it, oops, set tint, let's give it a color, um, let's say we're going to make it red, okay, yes, this is not finished, so actually I'm going to import some special colors, colors from, so I've got this class pre-made, it just has two colors, Colors dot arcade arcades uh, primary and secondary brand color. So let's look at that. Okay, so it's uh, purple. So tint. We're gonna interpret. We're gonna tween the tint. And let's see duration. Let's just say one second. And we want to tint it to let's say the arcade secondary color, which I'll just show you what that looks like. Secondary, secondary, arcade, secondary, and let's just comment this for a second. It's going to go from this purple to this orange. So now, so we're going to do this. We're going to tint. We're going to tween the target's tint from the current color, which is going to be arcade primary, to arcade secondary over one second. Let's give it an ease. Phaser dot math dot easing dot sign. Let's go in out, and that's it. Let's see what it does. Nothing. That see that that wasn't quite right, right? Let's let's look at it again. That's not what we want in a tint. That's not really tinting anything, or rather, that's not tweening from one color to another color. So if you wanted the color to tween from Arcade primary, purple, to arcade secondary, a gold. What you're going to have to do is actually use Phaser's built-in color interpolation utilities. Now you can find information on these. Let's go to the phaser.io website. Go to learn here. Let's find the API docs. And so now I know that it is located in phaser.display.color. Phaser.display.color.interpolate right here. And so there's a bunch of interpolation methods. You can interpolate from one color to another color, from one color to an RGB uh, value, from one RG, RGB value to another RGB value. And yeah, those are the three ones. So we're going to do color with color. So there is a few other utilities in phaser.display.color. This is the color class. I believe. This is the namespace. This, there's an interpolate namespace, this is the color class, and um, there is a bunch of static methods right here. Uh, get yeah, There's component to hex, get color, there's a bunch of them, but you can basically, I think there's a value to color. Um, so normally, or, or very often, you see colors represented in phaser as the uh, number value. So like, you know, 0x, ff, ff, ff or as their hex value, where it's like uh, the pound sign and then FF, FF, FF. You can convert all of those values to a phaser color object. And so we're going to use value to color right here, uh, given string, a number, or some other color object um, data 
uh, object, which has RGBA values, we will convert it to a phaser color object. So let's do that and use the interpolation and we'll see what this looks like once we do it um, the right way with color interpolation since the math is different when uh, tweening or interpolating from one color to another color. So let's see, we're gonna go from primary to secondary. Now we're not gonna use a, the traditional tween, we're gonna use a counter, add counter. Okay, so now we're gonna count from zero to 100. These numbers could be anything really, it's not, um, it's not super relevant, it could be a thousand, you know, it, zero to something would probably be your best bet. Duration, let's just say one second. Uh, let's say ease. We're going to go phaser.math.easing. Let's do sign in out. We are going to repeat this one. And let's just yo-yo it. Okay, so now on update, we're going to get a tween back. So this on update will be called each update each frame, let's say, that this uh, counter tween is running. So we're going to comment out our normal tween here. So here's what we need to do. We have the gem. We're going to set the tint to a interpolated color as the color goes from arcade primary, a purple, to this orange arcade secondary. So we have phaser dot display dot color dot interpolate and we're going to interpolate from color to color so color with color so let's uh let's do this here so const primary color which is going to be phaser dot display so we're going to create a phaser color object dot color dot value to color so uh colors dot okay primary so that's the primary color and then secondary color same thing, phaser.display.color.value to color, colors.arcade secondary. And then we're going to do interpolate from primary color to secondary color. Now this gives us back a color object. So let's go here, const color object. Now we don't really need the docs anymore, let's just shrink this. Get more room for code. All right, so we have a color object here. So this is going to be, this is the interpolation. So we're going to interpolate from primary color to secondary color. Now I'm going to just break this up here so that we can better see what's going on. Okay, so now there's a length number. So there's a length and an index. Now, if you've done any, uh, seen any easing uh, functions or, or, or things like that, where you where you interpolate from one value to another, um, there's a value called t that a lot of uh, functions use. t is basically when you divide where you are in time versus the total time. And so in this case, we're going from zero to 100. So length is going to be 100, the maximum distance effectively. And then index is going to be um, where you are on your way to that final number. So we're going to, from zero to 100. Length is 100, that's the total. And index is going to be zero, one, two, three, four, et cetera. So what we're gonna do is put in 100 because we're going from zero to 100. Now, if you did zero to 1,000, you're probably gonna wanna use 1,000 and then Index. So now we get index since we're giving the we're given the tween here. So tween dot get value. So this is going to give us the value from zero to a hundred, depending on where the tween is at currently at this update. So const value. We call this index. Let's uh, what you call it value. Now we pass that into value. So now we have. At each time this update is called, the color values uh, at this point in time for this interpolation between two colors. So from purple to gold, you'll get some mix between purple and gold 
um, at this time inside this color object. So now, now we need to do gem dot set tint, but you'll see tint takes a number. Now, if you there's top left, top right, you can tint it in different um, the different corners. If you just give it one number, it'll tint the whole thing about the same color. So it takes a number, and of course, color object is not a number. A color object is a color object, which if we look at it. Um, as you look at it, you can just also trust me that it's a object that's RGB. Yeah, it's an object that's RGBA, right? This is a color object. This is obviously not a number. So we need to convert our color object to a number. So let's go const color. Now we can do that using phaser.display.color dot get color. So if we do get color, given the RGB values, we can get a number. So we know it's color object dot r, color object dot g, and color object dot b. Great. So now we have this color, which is a number. Now we can do set tint. And there we go. So now this is going to tint it, or it's going to interpolate the tint on the sprite from purple to gold or orange. See, there we go. Now we have yo yo and we have repeat on, so it's going to do this forever. But now this is tinting, this is interpolating colors as you would expect. Uh, instead of going from what was black to the final color, there was no interpolation at all by just tinting, set, changing the tint and passing that into a tween. So if you want to interpolate colors, you need to use phasers color interpolation uh, functions, this color with color and a bunch of other ones if you only have RGB or you have some other values. And then you need to convert that color back to the number representation of the color and then pass it into the set tint function. So there we go, that is interpolating colors in phase of three.